and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed a little season. Properly identifying the characters in the scriptures will give you a better understanding of the world we live in. The scriptures are depicting the Israelites' journey with the supreme ruler, the Elohim of Israel. In addition, the scriptures are revealing prophecies that were fulfilled and future prophecies. Israelites, it is important to know who your enemies are. I know we want to live peacefully with the seed of the fallen, but you must protect yourself. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Obeying the words of the Most High does not indicate we must become a punching bag to our enemies. We cannot live in ignorance. Just as the strangers need to understand the Most High is the Elohim to Israel and not to the world, the Israelites and the indigenous black people of the Most High need to understand the apple does not fall far from the tree when it comes to the seed of the fallen. Stop trying to save the wicked. The seed of the fallen has shown us who they are. The indigenous people is having a difficult time believing them and separating from their fleshy saviors. The scriptures reveal that Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan and his angels, the seed of the fallen, and all who worship the beast will disguise themselves as angels of light. They will try to convince you they are righteous men and women of God. The question you must ask oneself, what God are they referring to? The heathens worship idols. The heathens do not serve the Elohim of Israel. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The workers of iniquity are the most religious and legalistic people in this world. Just because they are nice to you in public, procreate with you, this does not conclude they have your best interests at heart. Just because they marry you, this does not mean they love you. Pretending to love you is how they maintain control over you. They want you to believe they have changed. Israelites, the seed of the fallen are as diabolical as their fathers. Everything the seed of the fallen does is to benefit themselves. There is an agenda behind everything they do. Regardless of how pleasant they are towards you, they will always choose their own over you. If the seed of the fallen wanted to live peacefully with everyone, they would not persecute the indigenous people all over the world. The repetitive cycle of discrimination and racism would not be an issue in 2021. For some reason, the indigenous black people believe they live in a society that is moving in a direction that will support them and give them equal rights. The scripture said in the last days, the people's wickedness would increase. The world would be in chaos. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce, breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. It is time for the indigenous people to stop believing things will get better. The closer we get to redemption, the more wicked society becomes. The Most High shortened the days for the sake of the elect. Speeding up the times is not a future prophecy. The days are passing by fast. Society is in a decline, just as in the days of Noah. 
The beast system has desensitized the people. Everything is acceptable in this generation. The indigenous people are falling for the many traps set by the kingdom of darkness. The beast system deceived the indigenous black people into believing they care about their cause. The seed of the fallen want you to feel safe and secure in the land of your captivity. The more you allow the seed of the fallen to rule over you, the longer you will stay in the land of your captivity. The indigenous black people were created to rule. This is the reason the Most High gave his creation, the indigenous black man and woman, dominion on earth. The world depend on the resources that comes from the motherland, Africa. The indigenous people are busy crying to the heathens and the serpent seed about including them in the beast system. The Most High provided and gave his people everything they need to survive. The indigenous people continue to follow the seed of the fallen. The scripture said the times of the heathens will end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. It is useless following a dying society. Accepting the crumbs from the kingdom of darkness is trading your glory for the lesser. The workers of iniquity bribe you with government programs and stimulus money to stop you from breaking the stronghold they have on your life. The seed of the fallen do not want the indigenous black people to become independent. They want you to remain dependent on them for you to view them as gods. The scripture said our battle is not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The Gentiles' government system are the spiritual wickedness in high places. The idols they serve are the principalities Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 speak of. We are dealing with dark energy and unclean foul spirits. Many indigenous people believe witchcraft and sorcery are fairy tales. Just because Disney and the other networks that create sitcoms and movies to initiate your children and yourself into sorcery declare witchcraft is fictional, why do they go to great length to create entertainment to bless your spirit? They have been persecuting you from the beginning. Do not allow the seed of the fallen to distort your reality. It is time for Israelites everywhere to understand you will never live at peace in the land of your captivity. Living in the land of your captivity is punishment, not a reward. The Most High will never allow you to live peacefully in sin. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known. And I will send a sword after them till I have consumed them. The Israelite bloodline is a chosen bloodline, a royal priesthood that represents the Most High. The Most High will continue to send the sword after his people until they humble themselves, repent, and transform into the people he visioned. It is important for you to wake up from your slumber and allow the Most High to renew your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Before the times of this generation, there was a battle between good and evil. This battle began in the heavenly places. The scriptures inform us that Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels. Satan was defeated. As a result, Satan and his angels were kicked out of the heavenly places onto earth. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The sons of God was dwelling here before the Most High made Adam and Eve. The Most High did not give Satan and his angels dominion on earth. The Most High gave Adam and Eve dominion to rule over everything. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. 
For Satan to gain control of this world, Satan had to deceive Adam and Eve to give him dominion on earth. Israelites, for Satan to place a stronghold in your life, he must obtain permission. A covenant is needed. The way the kingdom of darkness established covenants through deception. There are many people selling themselves to the kingdom of darkness for fame, money, and power. Too many people are willing to compromise themselves to have a seat at Satan's table. Once Satan deceived them by giving them the desires of their flesh, their condition worsened. There are too many examples out here for us to learn from. Making a deal with the kingdom of darkness to gain what you already had is unwise. The Most High gave his people power over the entire kingdom of darkness. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. With Adam and Eve establishing a covenant with Satan in the garden, the kingdom of darkness gained the opportunity to control the physical realm. Adam and Eve handed their dominion to Satan, just as many are doing in this generation. The kingdom of darkness secured their reign on earth when the fallen angels saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and procreated with the daughters of men. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Out of the union between the sons of God, the fallen angels, and the daughters of men came a hybrid species of so-called humans. The seed of the fallen dwell among us until this day. The seed of the fallen is in power. The indigenous people continue to give the serpent seed permission to rule over them. When the indigenous people refuse to take their place, that is granting the kingdom of darkness permission to take over. When the leaders of our community sell out their people for money, that is granting the kingdom of darkness permission. When the indigenous man refused to take his place, that is handing the earth into the hands of the wicked. If the indigenous man do not take his place, do not be surprised of the chaos happening all over the world. The world will remain out of order until the indigenous people obey the Most High. You should never appoint a heathen or the seed of the fallen over you to lead. The Most High is your king. Is this your king? Huh? Is this your king? Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. When the indigenous black leaders submit to their head, you will begin to see how the women and children follow. Until then, hardship and persecution is the fate of all indigenous black people. By now, you all should know Satan imitates the Most High. By impersonating the Most High is how Satan is deceiving the indigenous people. The hybrid species that came from the kingdom of darkness is not the creation of the Most High. The hybrid human species is the creation that stems from rebellious angels and the fall of man through sin. Yah did not breathe the breath of life into those demons. Yah did not say to the seed of the serpent, I give you dominion over all the earth. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The Most High established whom he wanted to rule the earth before the seed of the fallen was created. The reason the serpent seed continued to dominate the indigenous population, the indigenous people forgot their creator. They trade the Most High for an idol pretending to be the Elohim of Israel. The dominion the scriptures speak of is for the indigenous black people that are made in the image of the Most High. When you read Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, do not envision the seed of the fallen. The authority to rule is for the indigenous black people. The kingdom of darkness robbed the indigenous black people of their dominion. That is the reason the seed of the fallen rule with their leader, Satan. 
The concept of race is to manipulate the indigenous people into accepting the hybrid species as one of them. Once the indigenous black people accept and welcome the serpent seed, that was the beginning of their downfall. Israelites, it is important for you to stop referring to the seed of the fallen as your brothers and sisters. They are not. If they were, they would accept you. Every imagination of the seed of the serpent is evil. That is why society is in a decline. The serpent seed and the humans are of two different species. You cannot compare the two. It is like comparing apples to oranges. The cat family consists of 37 species. Each species are unique. Although the 37 species are cats, they are not the same. To reproduce their own kind, a male and a female from the same species must come together. Today, there are Israelites proclaiming the hybrid female can produce an Israelite child. If the woman is not a daughter of Zion, you are creating the next generation of your oppressors and increasing the population of the hybrids. A hybrid can only reproduce another hybrid. If a cheetah could give birth to a lion, how come when two cheetahs come together, they do not produce a lion? When the two cheetahs mate, their offspring is their exact copy made in their image. If a cheetah and a lion ever reproduce, it is due to human interference. Whatever comes from the crossbreeding of the animals are a new species. The Most High is against these abominations. You shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. The angels do not get married nor have children in heaven. When the sons of God, the fallen angels, took the daughters of men for wives and had children with them, they were going against the laws of the Most High. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of God in heaven. The scriptures reveal the angels do not get married nor have children in the heavenly places. The angels that sin are known as fallen angels. They were cast out with their leader, Satan. The Most High has harsh punishment reserved for the angels who sinned. The Most High did not take lightly what the fallen angels did. The Most High has some angels chained down since the times of Noah when they procreated with the daughters of men, waiting for their judgment. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left to their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. It is time for the indigenous people to understand the abomination they are creating with the seed of the fallen. Let the judgment awaiting for the demons be a testimony against you. The offspring of the fallen angels share similar physical appearance but have a complete opposite look from the indigenous people. A black person will stand out from the seed of the fallen. The dark skin and woolly hair is the opposite from the fair skin, straight hair. The children conceived from the union from the rebellious angels and the daughters of men are a new species. They are not human. To produce another human, an indigenous male and an indigenous female must come together. We live in a society that declared war against the indigenous unions. The beast system promote interracial relationships to increase the various hybrids population. The beast system refer to the people made in the image of the Most High as homo sapiens. The kingdom of darkness is known for its half-truth. The beast system classify the people with Neanderthal DNA as homo sapiens. Neanderthals are not homo sapiens, they are of a different species. How can the beast system classify people with Neanderthal DNA as homo sapiens and turn around and say the Neanderthals are not homo sapiens? Are you beginning to see how Satan deceived the whole world? And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Yes, the indigenous black people are homo sapiens. The indigenous people do not have Neanderthal DNA. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Enoch and the book of Jubilees, the description of the fallen angels and their seed. 
fair skin, colored eyes, and straight hair. We know that the Neanderthals stem from the seed of the fallen. The beast system described the Neanderthals to having straight hair, colored eyes, and fair skin. There is a group of so-called homo sapiens who are dominating this world and they have Neanderthal DNA. These so-called humans have the same appearance with the seed of the fallen. Straight hair, colored eyes, and fair skinned. Seems to me the Neanderthals have evolved. At this point, Israelites, if you cannot connect the dots, you are in denial. If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Society's beauty standard is fair skin, straight hair, and colored eyes. We live in a colorist society. Everyone know the more Eurocentric a person look, the more privileged they are. We have a large population of indigenous black people worshiping the features of the seed of the fallen. The evolved Neanderthals have something in common with the seed of the fallen. Both come from the land of the north, Eurasia. Little is known about the people with Neanderthal DNA's origins. The beast system did a phenomenal job of hiding their history. Because they control the beast system with their leader, Satan, they can change the narrative. Censorship is on the rise because the indigenous people are waking up. To control the indigenous black people, they flood the media with half-truth to cause confusion and distraction. They hide who they are by stealing the identity of the indigenous black people. We know the seed of the fallen has stolen the history of the indigenous black people. If you allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you, Israelites, everything that was hidden in plain sight will become known. The seed of the fallen have been telling us who they are. At such a time as this, the Most High is opening our eyes to show us what is in front of us. Some of you cannot see because you're not asking the Most High to open your eyes. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Israelites, spend time in the presence of the Most High to gain the knowledge and understanding your spirit yearn for. The words of the Most High nourishes your spirit. The seed of the fallen are doing what they are created to do, deceive. Israelites, it is time that you listen to the Most High and do as the Most High command of you. Stop allowing the serpent seed to steal your glory. Thus saith the Lord God, When I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob, and they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses and plant vineyards, yea, they shall dwell with confidence, when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God.